Hmm. A few glossies in a health magazine. Oh well. I'll take the fashion magazine here. Oh, and the auto magazine. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Look, uh, I've got a few of Fuller's earlier works. Really? Show me! Which pictures are by him? Um, oh, that one there. Uh, oh, and there too. Oh, and here's another one. Exactly. Yeah, that one here. They're really wonderful. It was all just for the money. In reality, he's an artist, you see. But the project here in Biddeford is his real passion. Living incognito amongst us common folks, working on his masterpiece. Can you imagine what an effort it must have been for such a cultivated and refined man like Fuller to play a, a primitive, stinking, sweaty asshole? That's true art. You should call him. He could photograph you in your car up on the clifftop. Now? Yeah. Oh, oh, unfortunately, I've got to hurry, my lady. Uh, I've got a deadline to meet in Dallas, you see. Oh, of course. I'll call from my car phone and arrange a photo shoot. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, oh, but don't let him realize that you know his true identity. Who knows what that do to his artistic spirit. I understand. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Shall we meet here again this evening? Agreed. <laughs> Unbelievable. It might be that Fuller put the film of Angelina's pictures in the safe before he drove off to his shoot. The safe is locked. Of course, even Fuller worked out what a safe is for. All right, let's see. Okay. I need to enter five numbers. I should be able to hear if the lock clicks into place with the stethoscope. But when it does, they need to turn it in the other direction afterwards. But I need to get a move on. Fuller's had a clock built into it, so there's a time limit. Sounds good. Yes, there you go. Aha, a film cartridge. Those will be the photos of Angelina. Well, apart from that, there's just a few papers, a folder, and, uh... Whoa, a pistol. I'd better leave everything where it is. As soon as I've developed the pictures and made copies, 
I'll pay Angelina a visit in the hotel. I... I could really do with a bit of a distraction. Okay, I can develop Angelina's film here, and then make some prints. Let's see, what do I need to develop the film? The film with Angelina's pictures on it, and developer fluid. There ought to be some fixer around here, and the developing drum is there on the table. A small bottle of photographic fixer. There's not a lot left in there, but it ought to do for one more use, I think. That rickety pallet is blocking my view of the lower shelves. I can't see what's behind there. Photo developer. Looks like it's been there for a while, but the bottle's still sealed, so it could still be good. There's the photo developer. All right, now I've got everything I need to develop the films. Let's go. Ah, there's a bottle of distilled water. I'm gonna need that if I'm gonna make pictures from Angelina's film. Alright, now I've got everything I need to develop the films. Let's go. The undeveloped film is placed in this container. Then the developer fluid is added, and after a short while, the film is developed. First of all, light off. is in the developing drum. The developer's still missing. The dish for the water bath. After the picture becomes visible in the developer bath, the development process is stopped in the water bath. developers oxidizing. It gives off electrons which are then picked up by the silver ions in the light sensitive layer of the film. The more light that falls on a location, the stronger the reaction, and so the place then turns darker. In short, the film is now being developed. I guess the film has to be developed now. That would be the stop bath. Oh well, 
That's the end of the fixer. But what was left ought to have stopped the development process. I hope everything's worked. So far, so good. The film's developed. That's the first step. Now I have to make the prints. Let's see. I need photo paper and an enlarger. That's over there. Then I need developer. Oh, there's still enough in the bottle. The developer drum has done its job. I can simply leave the fixer in it. An A4 size package. Fairly heavy. Either it really is photographic paper, or it's full of dirty mags for the week. Nice. Fifty sheets of top quality photo paper. of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. The film has been put in. Then let's have a go. The longer I leave the lamp on, the more contrast the picture gets. Let's try it. The exposed picture has to be developed first, then it goes into the water bath afterwards. That's not going to do a damn thing putting an exposed piece of paper into an empty dish. That's enough. The developer also has to be diluted. Great. Just as it should be. A dish with about half an inch of diluted developer. Ah, here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. The photo's exposed and developed. Now all I have to do is wash off the developer fluid using distilled water. has got too much contrast, but the brightness is good. I shouldn't expose the paper for so long next time. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. Okay then, let's try again. I have to measure the exposure time exactly. Too short and there won't be enough contrast. Too long will give me too much. Okay, I think that's enough time. sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. 
Too late, it'll get too dark. is good. I shouldn't expose the paper for so long next time. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. <sighs> okay then, let's try again. I have to measure the exposure time exactly. Too short and there won't be enough contrast. Too long will give me too much. Okay, I think that's enough time. Here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Contrast is good and the brightness is right too. But the picture itself is garbage. I can't do much about that. Maybe some of the other pictures are better. Well, at least the exposure and development times seem to be right. I'll try it again. The sheet is lying in the frame. The distance of the lens from the paper seems fine for the picture to be projected properly. <sighs> okay then, let's try again. I have to measure the exposure time exactly. Too short and there won't be enough contrast. Too long will give me too much. Okay, I think that's enough time. Bath of diluted developer. Ah, here we go. I have to take the sheet out as soon as it has the correct brightness. Too early, it stays too light. Too late, it'll get too dark. Yes, I've really got it now. Brightness and contrast are correct. If Fuller only had any idea about photography, then maybe even the picture would be good too. Maybe the next one. This could well take some time. 36 pictures and not one of them actually any good. How can a guy take a beautiful woman like Angelina and then photograph her so badly? But I can't do much about that. The pics have been snapped and I gotta take them to her at the hotel. At least I get to see her again. And it's also not my fault that the pictures are bad. What the? Shh. 
Mrs. Biber? Can I help you, Mrs. Biber? Is Fuller there? Uh, no, not at the moment. Then, then, can you give him this? Give it to him personally. As soon as he gets back, I, I gotta go. I feel sorry for her. There's something not right going on here. Could it help me get one over on Fuller? Huh. But I can't put Mrs. Biba in danger. She gives the impression she can't take much more. If I could secretly open the envelope, then, then I could look at what's inside and put the envelope in the mailbox later would keep Mrs. Biba out of trouble. But how can I open the envelope and close it again without Fuller noticing? First, I want to see what's inside. Holy, that's got to be a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. Huh. There's some kind of blackmailing going on here. Mrs. Biber hates Fuller, and, and she didn't want her husband to see that I gave her a letter from him this morning. It would seem he knows nothing about it. But what's it about? Sex? Ugh, surely not with Fuller something to do with the diner or, or from Biba's past? I'd love to send Fuller off to jail for blackmail. But first I gotta find out what he's blackmailing Mrs. Biber with. But tomorrow's another day. I'll put the letter in Fuller's mailbox and get myself ready for my date with Angelina.
Excuse me. Yes, please. Does the hotel belong to you? <laughs> it sure does. My grandfather built it, and I've been running it for the past 15 years. Do you live here with your family? It's like this. The guests value the quiet family atmosphere here. It really is something quite special to stay in a small, family-run hotel. I can't bear those awful tower block hotels in the holiday resorts. And at some point your children will take over the running of it? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> My daughter's studying to be a hotelier in Switzerland. <laughs> I only hope that our hotel here doesn't end up being too small and provincial for her. Well, oh, my son, well, he's got rather different interests. What's he doing, then? Now, he's a musician. Really? Yes. He even thinks he can make a living out of it. <laughs> Some people live very nicely from it. What does he play? He plays an electric bass in a, in a band. I, I think it's called Punk Rock. And you're worried about that? You know my mother? Rebecca Michaels? Rebecca? Well, of course! We sit together on the tourist board! You're her son? How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. She's lying in the hospital. She had a fall. Oh, my dear boy, that's... I'll let my wife know right away. We'll send her a card. Well, if you like. So what are you doing here, then? Shouldn't you be with your mother? I'm going to go see her again later. Well, please, give her our best wishes. Yes, of course. I should be looking after my mother or beating the crap out of Fuller's fat face. But instead, I'm standing here with a stomach full of butterflies. I don't know what it is about her, but man, I got it bad. All right, let's go.